Hello and welcome to This Week in Gwent, first one this year. I am joined by Erf er how you say I actually say it, Erfeldi. <laughs> Oyerfeldi. Oyerfeldi. Oh my yeah. god. It's such uh, a German. difficult one. Okay, mm -hmm. so we get to know a little bit more about you, but we'll get to the part where we go into uh, more in depth into what you do. Um, we're going to learn more about memes. We're going to probably learn more about Mill because <laughs> it is something <laughs> you, you play. Um, yeah, and I think over, overall we're going to have we're going to have a really good time. Uh, so welcome everybody watching uh, first twig of 2022. Um, worst thing is that 2022 is still very similar to 2020, which was not a good year. <laughs> but uh, if you saw that meme, you probably know we probably know what's up um i hope everybody's holiday break was good that everybody got some rest i know i did um and that everybody's looking forward to the new year how are you feeling overall well i'm feeling well uh also had like a three week break now so nice <laughs> very relaxed still uh lots of gwent lots of streaming so yeah yeah it's awesome yeah we came back and actually uh we, we will actually go straight to Mm, the news that we have. So we had the patch launch this week. I think that's the that's the biggest thing to take into account. Um, the start of the season of the wolf. Draft mode went out of early access, um, but I know that a lot of people are saying that draft, you know, could use a little bit more love, and we're fully aware of that, uh, especially the packs and stuff like that. But moving out of early access in our case is actually adding rewards and incentive to actually play the game mode have you have you checking out draft yet or not no, are you not are you more uh, of a just competitive ladder player slash streamer <laughs> uh i checked it out when it came out but now since then not that much because yeah mainly the issue for me is with the outdated packages and yeah. with the matchmaking also i'm not i feel like it's missing proper matchmaking yeah yeah, and the other thing is also also like achievements and stuff like that. So all those things, mm -hmm. all those yeah. things will will be added down the road. But it, yeah, it's it's still a work in progress as as we see it. But it's a mode that we don't want to um, abandon in any way. But yeah, yeah. Uh, me myself, I'm not a fan of limited formats in any card game. So <laughs> I was like I was like constructed because I really want to play with all the good stuff. And the limited stuff is always kind of like, eh, well, you know, you're limited in terms of the things you can actually build. And I like to just go all in and get all the good, good cards and all of their <laughs> copies and play all the good stuff that's synergistic and nice. So, yeah. But uh, the thing I like limited formats, although, is that you can sometimes find like really weird interactions. If you're like, if you're drafting drafting in terms of like there's there aren't really packages but you're just getting cards and you're trying to make them like synergize together and stick mm -hmm. and sometimes you get like funny interactions and combos or really like that yeah that's always hilarious yeah for example when charges were still a thing and you could like uh the bleeding bear from skellige yeah. with charges and then you could give it charges with the northern realms units Exactly. Exactly. Those are those are examples of some weird, and especially like in, in Gwent, you have you know you, having six factions, meaning that you can mix factions together. It's really cool, which you cannot mm -hmm. do in, in the normal constructed format. Okay, moving on. We had the patch. We had the patch notes, of course. We had a developer update with Ryan and Jean. You guys can check it out on YouTube. And yeah, all of that information was there. I think overall. I think the majority of the community wasn't really expecting the patch to be quite big, especially that patches in January that we did previously mm -hmm. were quite smaller when it comes to scale. Um, but hopefully the, the, the sentiment will be will be good regarding this one. How do you like it so far? I know it's it's very fresh and early to talk about. Like, what do you think about the patch overall? Yeah, I think I, so far I like it. The biggest offenders are addressed, like King of Beggars and Milva. Milva, yes. <laughs> yeah. And oh, yeah, also Clock got some buffs. Oh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the degenerate stuff. And yeah, I think Nickers and Roach get a buff and Reens on top. 
Ja. Ähm, I'm on board. <lacht> <lacht> ja, Korg is something that keeps on coming back, right? And I saw someone commenting mm -hmm. that, yeah, someone in CDPR really likes Korg. I will find that person and I will I will let you know who that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I will send you I will send him a card for Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all the nice updates. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, moving on to community news, I think the most important one we have to highlight is, is we have a wedding. We have I think this is our first Gwent wedding. I know there was a wedding that was connected to The Witcher 3 in Gwent like a couple of years ago that I remember, but it was like a long time ago. But we had one that cons that consists of two important faces that come from uh, the the new Gwent as we know it uh, that have been with the game since uh, beta. That's Crozer and Miss Lady J. Amazing! Uh, congrats, guys! Uh, all the best to you. Much love and all all the cool stuff. It was really amazing to see the photos. And the most amazing thing for me was how the community kind of. Uh, also gathered around it and everybody retweeted all that information. Everybody was like, you know, especially especially if you look at the time that we're in and the pandemic and both of them are being from different, you know, countries and traveling and all that stuff, that's always problematic. So it's actually good to see some positivity and some cool stuff happen in, in the community. And it's, it's freaking amazing. Yeah. So glad that it worked out in the end because it was such a struggle yeah <laughs> it was get, there was the pandemic and then omicron emerging in south africa oh. and say the travel button on south africa and then like <laughs> on the 23rd like two days before they flew back to south africa the rules changed and then they yes. were still able like last minute to fly the the crozier yeah and get the wedding done <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, lots of, you know, you know, a bumpy road, but I'm really, really glad that it happened because I know it's one of those days that you try to like plan out the best you can mm -hmm. and you really want everything to go like the way the way you want to. And I'm happy that the world didn't didn't stop them from from doing that, which mm -hmm. is which is amazing. Um, also, we, of course, have Gwen Beginner Guides episode 21 already on deploy. We probably missed a couple episodes due to the fact that um, uh, we were gone for the holiday break and Krev League season four Dex Commission is open for their command and fight. So they're starting their regular season once again. Um, so you can join. There's, of course, kegs, meteorite powder and all that cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, for sure, check it out. And that would be would be it for the community news. I think so. At least those are the things that I picked from the top. But uh, for sure, um, for the next one, there will be more juicy content. I think we also, I think also a lot of people just had a, had a break break, especially like all the content creators that I follow, especially the, the ones that do YouTube content, like throughout the, the holiday break till like now, it's just been like super empty, right? Because everybody took, so it took yeah. some time off, especially to come back after New Year's refreshed. And uh, yeah, you, you also had some time off, right? If I remember correctly. Like we were talking about it before uh, the stream. I was well, mostly streaming during the holidays, but well, I don't have much to do. I just sit at home, play computer games, living the dream. <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's, that's the vacation that's... or driving somewhere to the beach. Perfect, that's the best, that's the best thing to do. You're, you're located somewhere in Germany, right? Yeah, I'm from Franconia near Würzburg, so. Mm. Nice. Oh. Really cool. Okay, uh, last on the roster, we have memes, two memes. One, one I'm part of, that's why it's here. The Life of Engines and our Plaza engine card first and then NG. Well, yeah, I, I love it. It was really nice. And then uh, I instantly thought this after reading the notes, scale again, no changes. And then we have Giga Chad. Um, this was actually a, a meme which was um, highlighted by um, our balance and design team, uh, especially Malijan said that he was really happy that people picked up, picked that one up. And yeah, Giga Chad is, is I think one of, one of their favorite memes. So that it was actually used here was like the perfect coincidence. So, so it was, it was amazing. <laughs> Speaking of memes, um, I know you like memes a lot. Where, where, where did, where did your love for memes come from? <laughs> Just browsing the internet? <laughs> yeah, just being constantly on the internet. Then you probably get used to them and they become... You just yeah. get used to them and you can't stop using them. 
<laughs> it's really it's really amazing that it's such an organic thing that happens throughout and, and changes by itself. It goes into phases. Some memes come back, some memes disappear mm -hmm. and they never come back. Some are cringy, some are cool. So it's really, really amazing. Um, speaking, speaking of that, and uh, we know that you like memes. But what about, and you also stream, but when did you start getting interested in Gwent? Was it something that you, that, you know, happened for you that it was in Witcher 3 or was it just beta Gwent? Like, when did you join us? Mm, it was uh, in Witcher 3. Basically, I played it, I think, 2015, somewhere around there. And then I was like, during the game, during Witcher 3, I was always, oh, where's the next Gwent game? Where's the next game? <laughs> 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 I need to collect all the cards. And then when I heard uh, someone read it, I think in 2016, that the closed beta is uh, starting somewhere in autumn. Yeah. I instantly signed up, and ever since I got the invite, I have been here. Yeah. Did you leaving? Did you ever manage to finish Witcher Three, or you were just stuck on Gwent for such a long time <laughs> that you decided not to pursue the quest? I, I managed. To, uh, at some point, you run out of opponents for Gwent, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to continue with the actual main game and finish it. <laughs> I love that approach. Um, favorite character, which are three Gwent or overall like who's your who's your, like the character that you that you like from from the whole Witcher universe? From the whole Witcher universe. Good question. Um, probably my f uh, characters. I think I like more the monster things like oh, okay. uh, Kambi. Kambi, I love Kambi. I love <laughs> Woodland Spirit. It was like in my first deck I ever built in standalone Gwent was mm -hmm. Foglet spam. Oh yes. This necker warriors and then at the end somewhere you play a Woodland Spirit and all the Foglets come out again. I remember <laughs> that beautiful. those days. Yeah. It was good times. It was time it was the time where you could like spam everything and uh, go mm -hmm. crazy and uh, a lot of point slammy stuff happening. I also remember like old consume that you were able to like consume everything and they will just spawning more drones and more and more and more. And uh, <laughs> same goes for like old Skellige where you were, you had the possibility of like pretty much, you know, thinning your whole deck and like lining up your hand pretty much and with all the discard packages and then just, well, it was just, it was too crazy, too crazy. <laughs> I mean, um, getting back there again. Too crazy Gwent, I think. <laughs> it, was, it was very tame during Homecoming, but yes. nowadays I think you're getting quite creative again with the cuts. True, true. And I certainly loved it. Yeah, I agree. I'm also I'm also more for the for the crazy cool interactions. Uh, but yeah, Homecoming was kind of like us hitting the reset button in some in some mm. sense because everything that happened after that was pretty much you know we were kind of made fun of for being the game that is just boost and damage and that's what the, what the majority of the abilities were but now it's kind of that we can you know build upon this and then kind of introduce mm -hmm. new stuff and i think also our design team is is more now clear in terms of like that they want to do some some cool crazy stuff and add those to the game so really really happy about that um someone in, in chat just mentioned uh, that you should tell us more about your artistic talents what mm -hmm. are your artistic talents <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, I, I like to draw or oh. let's say do, let's say do, let's not really drawing like really artistic and, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I like to do and, uh, what did I do? For example, I made a comic about, uh, Geralt basically as, as Yugi, if you know that, mm -hmm. Yugi Oda series. Yes. Uh, fighting against Aradin. That was one thing I did. It took like 250 hours to do the whole thing. Nice, nice. But do you do, uh, do you do it like freehand or is it digital? I do it with my mouse. Basically. Ah, okay, no. okay. So it's fully, fully digitalized. That's even harder, yeah. right? I find it easier, but I heard from many people say. They struggle with that. They are always, oh, you're drawing with a mouse? What the hell? Yeah, because normally <laughs> everybody uses the, the the professional cool tablets with the, yeah, with, exactly. the with the with the digital pen and all that professional stuff. Especially that's, that's how I see how, how how the people in you know that do illustrations and stuff mm. in our studio. That's how they do it. Yeah, I'm sure it's easier and nicer with that, but for some <laughs> reason I got you I got started with MS Paint and from then nice, <laughs> I nice. got used to all these crude drawings. And nowadays yeah. uh I have like this channel point reward on Twitch. Uh, 
<laughs> you can redeem a, to get a Gwent card drawn mm-hmm. in the middle, and it always looks <laughs> <laughs> cool, think, but funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we all started uh, our you know like moving our uh, drawing to digital with paint. I mean, it's something that that everybody instantly becomes a graphic designer one or, or mm-hmm. illustrator once they get access to to, to MS Paint. So uh, I totally totally get that. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> Since we're talking about decks also, like what was your favorite deck throughout Gwent's history? Apart from the Foglet one with the Woodland Spirit, which you mentioned. Uh, I think during beta it was Kambi. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Um, Basically play a lot of Silver Spice, get card advantage, and then play Kambi to wipe the whole board, make everything what happened before irrelevant, and just (laughs) by card advantage. Yeah, and now um, it's Mill, right? <laughs> yeah, nowadays or Clog. Mill is still all time favorite. <laughs> Just Mill and win because the opponent has no cards in the deck anymore. <laughs> and the opposite, I also love Clock. You can do so many variations of Clock. Nice. It's just funny <laughs> to nice. torment wholesome devotion vampire players and then <laughs> they can't answer the Colgrim and you're like, yep, yeah, I'm going five cards down to win round one and I'm, I'm going to play my Colgrim and you can't do anything. You can't do anything, exactly. Oh, yeah, I, I, I must like think that a lot of players are not, not, not loving that, but I mean, we all like different things, and I think also what mm-hmm. I what I get from you is kind of you like you like crazy cool interactions and, and card yeah, games, exactly. right? So I mean, who doesn't? It's it's fun. Of course, maybe these decks are not always the you know the best, the most competitive, the most streamlined, mm-hmm. but they give you the most the most fun when you're playing them. Yeah, basically the Timmy, all the Timmy decks. Yes. Come the Letitia, Alumni, Arch Griffin, Clock, all that brings <laughs> me joy. <laughs> I, I like how you're passionate about talking about it. Um, so yeah, you also stream. Um, you stream a lot of Gwent. Are there any other type of games that you're very like, like attracted to? Maybe I think that's one thing that maybe not not, not attracted, but the ones that you kind of you know go towards to, or the ones that you like to uh, stream for for fun. Um, streaming, I usually do whatever chat wants, <laughs> let them decide what they want. Um, so at the moment it's Hollow Knight. Um, uh, yeah, I like those games. Um, what I'm in the past usually was more attached to are uh, single player shooters and mm-hmm. like campaign. Okay. Or World of Warcraft. I played like <laughs> World of Warcraft for... I think I have four years of playtime on my World of Warcraft oh, account. Wow. So, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, my whole uh, teenager years went there and uh, wasted a bit, but it was so much fun too. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I mean, a lot of people that I know, also a lot of people that work uh, in our studio that, you know, are, are passionate gamers, like everybody, everybody played World of Warcraft. <laughs> I was actually the person who never, never tried it, which was, uh, which was, which was, I think, good because I saw like a lot of people playing out one time and they were like so immersed in it, like they would stop like going outside or, you know, you could not meet up with them because they were always on, on, on WoW all the time. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> the moment I started playing World of Warcraft in school, my grades went from here to down here <laughs> because I was just playing the game the whole day. Classic, classic. Um, have you played Cyberpunk yet or not? Not yet. Okay. I'm kind of waiting for the, the update in mm-hmm. uh, in spring somewhere, I think. And then, yeah, I will see when I'm going to go nice. to it. But I'm always a patient gamer. So I am wait until it gets like Game of the Year edition or something <laughs> and 50% sale. <laughs> and then I'm going to get it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um... Okay, that's really cool. I, d- I didn't know that you like to go like to... I I saw that you stream st- stuff like Hollow Knight. I thought that maybe roguelikes were kind of the thing that you were you were going towards, but I think it's just a mixed bag of everything, right? Yeah, basically whatever is... What people can recommend, I gladly play it. And nice. So 
Hollow Knight is very popular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, and it's, it's also a really fun game. And uh, I also like uh, roguelike platformers because, yeah, it's just it's really nice because you're you're like I play Dead Cells a lot, and I really like it, especially on Switch, so I can take it anywhere and play it. I like the, the possibility of, of you know replaying it all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, someone also said that uh, you, we see that you have a Siri Kitsuna in the background, uh, yeah. so that's that's really cool. <laughs> uh, awesome that you actually got that one, and you also have Shoop, of course. And I think there's one thing that is your drawing there, right? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, that's really yeah, amazing. Some from Miss Lady J. She drew it for me. Wow. 2019 when we first met up yeah. in Hamburg. And she made me a woodland. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, so you, you've really liked the woodland spirit, right? Yeah, it's, it's always such a cool feeling also in Witcher 3 if you, like, for the first time meet the woodland and you're like, oh, so spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. Um, yeah, if you watch uh, season two of The Witcher Netflix, you might also get those vibes from it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, in a, in a good and bad one, no spoilers. But uh, yeah, so I think oh, someone someone <laughs> mentioned it in chat, so I won't be I won't be going more into that, so it's not to trigger more people. <laughs> yeah, um, just glad it was not Lambert. Who... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bain yeah. Bane, Bane would be Bane would be petitioning to do something about it for sure, for sure. Um, okay, that's that's really cool. Um, thinking about Gwent as it is right now, what would you like to see more of uh, happening in twenty twenty two? If you could like name anything, it can be balance related, it can be in game event related, it can be whatever is whatever you want. Good question. Um, <laughs> I think what I usually like is more reworks of old cards which are unused to make them more playable or get underpowered archetypes more into the spotlight by buffing them. That's mm-hmm. always fun and obviously more Timmy cards which enable crazy combos. Uh, so I can also have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. Yeah, and I think it, what you just said kind of voices the opinion of the community. A lot of people were saying that what they want really is for us to kind of go back and look at the cards which see less play right now or kind of become outdated. And I know there's this big weird word of you know power creep and things becoming stronger and some things becoming, because of that, kind of becoming redundant. So... Yeah, I'm really happy that we're taking that direction and really looking into those things. Mm. So, so it's really cool. Cool. I mean, amazing. What do you like to do apart from from games? Is there anything that uh, and drawing, of course? Is there anything that you 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 like to do in your spare time, additionally to to all those things? Um, usually, mostly it's watching series or movies. Um... For example, on Seelie's Discord, we usually have like movie nights every Saturday or we watch Game of Thrones at the moment. Ah, nice. Coming to the bad ending now slowly, but still, <laughs> like, still a lot of fun to <clears throat> rip on it if it's getting bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, otherwise, it is mostly playing and watching on Twitch as a Gwen streamers. Basically, I, in the morning when I start, work on the side on the tablet the some Gwen streamer like Avidus or Trinet earlier mm-hmm. was playing yeah, yeah and then if I go to bed in the evening somewhere Shinmiris and then I slowly drift into sleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you've been you've been very like present on all streams everything Gwen related mm-hmm. you're always there uh, which is amazing so that's why that's why everybody like sends a lot of like good vibes and, and love towards your way especially the thing that i saw is like um you know because normally for twigs we have these polls and everybody was like oh you you, you need to get them on you need to get them on and and i was <laughs> like you know uh yeah for sure like he's everywhere and and, and also streams and creative content so why not instead of just having this you know popularity contest in terms of like who gets the most votes and stuff like that so really happy that yeah you know i could i could have you over and we could do this um 
Okay, I think we, we got through all those things. We got through the patch. I'm thinking if there's anything else that, that... Oh, one thing I wanted to ask you. Did you ever, like you said that you, uh, Crozier, Miss Lady DJ, and um, you guys met uh, in person. What was like your first community thing that you went to that was Gwent related where you got to actually meet the people in person? I think it was December 2019. Before Corona, basically, um, in Düsseldorf with uh, the people from Bane's Discord. Yeah. Uh, Ryan was also there, Bane, Kate, I think Goldnuggy, and a few others. Yeah. And yeah, we met the. What did we do? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think we drank. Yeah, we, we always went to the same pub. I think that was that meetup. <laughs> it's just yeah. drinking a lot. Yeah, even Ryan mentioned that you guys had pizza once together, <laughs> and that, that he's like, "Oh yeah, I was also there." So, so yeah, yeah, it's really cool because uh, overall, like in, in Germany, we have a really, really cool, uh, tight knit community of, of of people who who are either stream or just are pretty much into into Gwent, which is really amazing to see. And yeah, from mm. from 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 your team, let's say we we took Ryan over and we turned him to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he's now he's now one of us. But yeah, yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. It's the thing that I always highlight a lot when it comes to Gwent is I really love this that we have uh, the possibility of, of of having this really nice community that is very like tied together and everybody interacts with each other. We all know who's streaming when. And it's it feels more like you know more like a, like a family than a community, and I really really like that. Yeah, I also love that part about the the whole Gwent. Uh, like the Gwent community probably kept me sane during Corona because like you always had somebody to talk to, somebody to watch, or occasionally even meet up if Corona isn't that crazy. Yeah, I can I can totally agree. That plus like streaming, I think streaming and getting like interaction with people through that, like mm. also was a boost for a lot of people during the pandemic, right? And then it still mm. kind of is. And, and also a lot of people just started streaming when the pandemic hit because they saw that, <laughs> hey, you can like build a community around the content that you create, but also you can, you know, just meet other people, talk to them and you feel like you're not really stuck at home all the time. So. I totally, totally get that. So, I mean, that's 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 how it goes. But yeah, it's really, really cool and something that I always will kind of cherish. Like you know, having this possibility of having the community kind of around the game and everybody's nice to each other. Everybody looks, uh, you know, after each other, and it's, it's really, really awesome. So yeah, cool. Um, Anything else that you want to cover? Because this is like a very loose format, so we can we can talk about you can you can ask any questions that you have on your side, so or anything you want to talk about related to 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 the stuff that you do, feel free to do so. Because we're or or any anyone in chat, if you have any questions, feel free to to drop them our way. Um, I will be the interviewer in this case, <laughs> or I can also answer your your guys' questions if you have any in chat. So. So yeah, Repek is here. Uh, one thing to mention is, is Repek had some uh, some procedure on his on his on his knee. So uh, Repek, all the best to you. Lots of love and yeah, yeah, Ooh. all the all the good stuff. Get healthy soon, yeah, and yeah, come come back home, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, the, what kind of leaderboard will be used in Gwen draft mode? Straight up MMR or something else? That is something that I need to double check because I think it would be more win streak related than depending how you actually do in the format itself. Uh, I think that would make sense. What's your what's your what's your take on it? Question. Uh, <laughs> I really hadn't thought about that. I would say some form of hidden MMR uh, would be cool to be used in draft, so you don't have like this straight. Stage fright, like you have in ranked mode. Mm -hmm. um, That's a really cool idea. Yeah, but 
like, I guess then it, it's difficult to make a leaderboard out of that if you don't have actual MMR you, displayed. You can't really show it. Like, like I mean, you could have it, but without MMR, does it really make yeah, sense? Then people will be how by, by, but how did he get yeah, it? How exactly. does it work? Like, who does who chooses that? Miss Lady J asks, where is Dagon? He is Dagon gone, meaning he's not coming back. That's We've been through that one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when will NR get buffs? That's a good question. I have no idea. I have no idea. Changes for seasonal trees, but that wasn't a question for me. Uh, how many, the question for you, how many kittens did you have till now? Are you a cat or a dog person? I'm a cat person. Okay, <laughs> good. Ah, uh, good question. Uh, at the moment we have two kittens. So I have a friend. So we have basically three kittens, Ooh. Uh, but I think in the past we had like 10 overall wow. so far. That's a <laughs> it's lot. always like two or three cats and yeah, then one snowballs. <laughs> and then the next one arrives, it's, it's, it's a circle of life. <laughs> Nice. But it's always awesome to have. But it's maybe. But is it like cats that you like find or strays, or is it just ca cats that you like uh, and you just pick them up from shelters? Like, what's the what's the story there? Uh, it is the first cat was a stray, and then we started adopting. Like, from we are all living in in, on, in the country, so mm -hmm. there are always some uh, farms around with cats. Uh, which just got kittens and then you can just pick them up and get them. Yeah, so it's always a healthy mix of both. Nice. Really cool. Yeah, really cool. It's really cool when you're helping like, you know, animals who, who you know, are less fortunate than, than the other ones. So I totally, totally respect that. Okay, mm -hmm. question. another question for you. If you could only pick one deck to play for eternity, eternity, that means like forever, ever, ever. Would it be clog or mill? Yeah. <laughs> That would be probably clock because <laughs> actually can win games <laughs> and you can play so many variations of clock. Green's oh. clock, operator clock, Brassens clock, Maddock clock, <laughs> renew clock. Yeah, yeah. I, I can go on for hours with that. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a question, uh, since card art contests are a thing, have you ever thought of community voice line contests for us voice? Acting enthusiast. That's an interesting one. Yeah, Never thought cool. about it to be honest, because you know, voice acting, if you think about it in terms of like it being a part of content, is isn't very flashy, but if you get like clips from people of voice acting and they provide what type of character it is, you could you could like show the character and then do the voice acting and make a video out of that. So and choose kind of who's the best mm -hmm. voice actor. Although all of the submissions will have to go through through Boris, who is our uh, specialist when it comes to everything voice voice acting related, and mm -hmm. he's 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 very specific when it comes to like <laughs> voices need to be on point. He's like if something doesn't sound like a character, then then he will he will straight up openly say like no, this is this is garbage, this is terrible. You need to redo it. So, so that is that is that is something that will need to happen for sure. Cool, and I think I think that's it. I haven't seen. Uh, did I miss any questions? I don't think so. I don't think so. Cool. All right. Then I guess I guess we got it. Then uh, thank you, thank you for jumping over. For those watching, where can they follow or you know see your content? Or where do you stream? Like all the all the stuff where people can find you at. Where can they do so? Um, you can find me on Twitter, uh, Oyafeldi. Or on Twitch, that's probably where I'm the most time. Um, I stream on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the morning at 9.30 a.m. somewhere in that direction. I try to start if I'm not too tired. Nice. And then you, you also uh, are present in, in, more, in most of the uh, Gwen streamer chats, discords, yeah. and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so you can, they can easily, easily find you. So... Yeah, yeah, awesome, <laughs> awesome stuff. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for doing this twig with me. It was a was a quick one this time, but there was actually there was there wasn't a lot of stuff to to cover um, beginning of this year. But I think once the momentum keeps on going, there will be more stuff to cover in the next coming weeks and months. Because yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting year for sure, and especially mm -hmm. like first first quarter, I think is gonna be. Quite interesting, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, yeah, 
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>